14 game unbeaten streak. On top of that, Sydney United had to sweat on West Adelaide's result. The ray of hope for United was their habit of upsetting the Zebras at Hindmar Stadium. In their past four journeys, United had won two and drawn one. And last night, anything short of a victory would send Branko Cholina's team into mothballs. Sitting outside the top six, depending on others to lose, with a perilous trip to Adelaide, where Damien Murray is so lethal. The odds were stacked against Sydney United. In contrast, Adelaide City was safe and sound in the top six, but too far away to grab a double chance. Your commentator at the Hindmarsh Stadium, Paul Williams. Stanzo takes it. He's a surprise inclusion tonight. Dino Manillo is the player that has made way for him. David Drillich, nice little flick over his head. For Milicic. That's a good ball through for Markovac, and it's fallen nicely for Drillich here. Is this a stunning opening? It is. David Drillich. In the third minute, has stunned the Heinrich crowd. And it was Markovats who lobbed it over the back of Ivanovic's head. Drillich ran on. He flicked it past Petkovic. And Sydney United have got an unbelievable start here. It was a delicate finish in a delicate situation. Costa given away and Markovac, the man who did the damage earlier on, goes forward again and tries to shot on his own and it was worth the effort as well. Lively start by Robbie Markovac, he scored last week in the 1-1 draw against Marconi. His confidence is up, you can see he didn't hesitate to have a crack at the goal there. He had some power but it was a comfortable save for the goalkeeper in the end. Sydney United are in seventh place currently in the Ericsson Cup League ladder. Their away record is not spectacular. They've only won four of their 16 fixtures away from Edenza Park. Managing 15 goals in those 16 matches. They've got some defending to do here as Cooper Sack slips. Hassel's in! Crossbar and over. Well, now this is interesting. What has Ed Lenny decided here? There was some wrestling going on between Hassel and the defender and the goalkeeper as well. The outcome is that John Peros, the goalkeeper, is booked and we might see what for. Hassel did well to carry on. And that is what Ed Lenny has given the penalty for, the challenge by John Parosh on Brad Hassel. Well, it's all happening so quickly here, and Alex Tobin has a chance to equalise for his side. 1-1. One, one. Well, it's his fourth goal of the season. And he's been sure from the penalty spot earlier on this year. And he was sure again with the powerful drive straight down the centre of the goal. Long ball, awkward. Hassel in behind, Cooper Sack again. Still Hassel. Well, the angle got harder and harder for Brad Hassel, the more the pressure from the defender came in. There was plenty of power, but Parosh had his near post well covered. Well, so often this season we've seen Damien Murray lurking behind the opposition defenders, but it's Brad Hassel who's playing that role to a tee tonight. Lozanovsky with the cross, Popovich, here's Hassel! Saved by Parosh and hacked away by Trokowski. Well, Brad Hassel is just irrepressible so far tonight. He's at the right place at the right time. And 
the goalkeeper did well to spread himself there and use the feet to just keep the ball out. But now the home side are starting to flex their muscles. Murray on the volley. Tobin inside to Brazale. Ivanovic just guiding Brazale into the space with the pass. Costanzo. Still Costanzo. Danger here for Sydney United across the goal. And you can see what a surprise it was for the goalkeeper. Mazanowski shouldn't have won that ball, but he managed to beat Kuprasek. Arm was wide on the left and some space as well, but he went for the more difficult option. Now, Lamont, wide on the right-hand side. Drillich in the centre, Milicic in the centre. Cross comes in, it's a good one as well. And Milicic, and Drillich is in there as well. But he couldn't direct the header past Petkovic. And he knows that was a good chance because Petkovic didn't come off his line quick enough to deal with the cross. Drillich out jumped his marker, but it just hit him on the top of the head. And he couldn't follow that up with anything meaningful, and Petkovic recovered. Possession being given away very cheaply by both sides, and it's a good ball through here. Hits the post. Tremendous run off the ball by Ante Milicic. And Drillich picked him out. He took one touch, he beat the goalkeeper, but the frame of the goal stopped Sydney United from going into the lead. The perfect defence splitting pass. Milicic again, Lamont, back to Tchaikovsky. Flicked on. Centre. Now Drillic moves in there. Morich trying to head the ball on to him. Was he held? He was. In a dangerous position too. Yates penalised for the foul on Drillic. And Sydney United who had a free kick in a similar position in the first half and they wasted it badly, have another chance here Kupersak, little chip, great goal Valamir Kupersak He hasn't scored this season but he's taken a marvellous free kick here to put his side into the lead. The veteran, the old head amongst young legs, has produced a brilliant free kick and Petkovic had no chance. Milicic nowhere to go, so he hangs on to possession well. Oh, that's nice play from Ante Milicic, calm under pressure. Babic worked his way forward. Hassel back to Foster, nice play. But strong challenge from Kuprasak who will be in a buoyant frame no doubt after his goal. Lozanowski takes the yellow card for that challenge. Play continues, Popovic, forward, Mark Babic, Going for the skill there from the big man, still Babic, tried to fire it across, now it's a free cross, for Tchaikovsky, it's deep, there's no one at the back post though, nice touch, Lockhorich keeps it in, Drillich, look to go back quickly, but was well anticipated and a good recovery from Drillich as Markovac goes on his own. Lamond turning away. Still Lamond! Yes! 
That's three for City United. And Menace Lebon, who has been a source of frustration at times for his coach, has finished off a chance that could see his side into the top six. It was good play from Markovic. Lebon so aware there to take control of the ball. He rode the challenge and smashed it past Petkovic. The final score at Hindmarsh. Adelaide City 1, Sydney United 3. And what an incredible run by Sydney United, who now have three wins from their past five games against Adelaide City at Hindmarsh. So, John, not a great surprise. And the end of a 14-week uh, unbeaten run for not a uh, Adelaide in, City. Not a surprise in view of that stat, but before the game, not many did predict uh, Sydney United. It's amazing when everyone discounted them that they've come up with the goals that they've found so hard to get. Really choose probably the player to play in front for them. I mean, it's always been a problem throughout the year. Lamont playing probably with more consistency. Milicic busy and the whole team playing some really good football. Well, I remember the beginning of the season, John, when they, they were firing, when Milicic and Zdrilic uh, were up front. Uh, it's good to see that combination back again, a point well made. Well, it is. And uh, from Adelaide's uh, perspective, Les, if they're to lose a game, it's better to lose it now. They've had two down a week, so 14, 14 match unbeaten runs, so probably better to get it out of the system this week rather than the next.